you know that um that audio where it's this um the <laughs> it's this con creator who's going live and she's like oh just waiting for a few more people to join the live yeah oh i'm so pretty thank you on my necklace vivian westwood <laughs> that's how i feel right now let me wave to the people who are here all right so we're just gonna start we are 34 minutes late the barbie is here oh thank you <laughs> we are 34 minutes late but we are here this is going to be another naked sunday podcast we are going live on instagram if you're here thank you for being here now to start off before we jump into this topic of eating your girl out i'm going to grab myself a drink and you should do the same what i'm going to be drinking is 19 crimes from snoop d-o-double-g this is it here it's the cali rose so i'm gonna pour myself a glass grab your glass and let's start don't lock because i don't remember the password <laughs> all right pour that's a big pour cheers Ooh. this video is not sponsored if you would like to be a sponsor link me right now in the dms yeah and let's get it popping all right so like i said based on the title we're going to be talking about eating your girl out last week if you missed it we were talking about how to give the best blowjob again i wrote a book on giving an amazing blowjob how to you know properly suck dick so for this video we're going to be talking about how to properly eat out a girl's vagina and this is actually going to be the next book that i come out with not sure when the book is going to drop maybe in august around that time for my birthday maybe for valentine's day next month we don't know but i digress so again the topic is eat her right eating your girl out right right the first thing i want to mention is that you should start slow most women are very much more romantic are very much more delicate than the male counterparts and even with sucking the key should start slow but lori i need to try to concentrate because this is not about the men today okay it's about the women so start slow right work your way down you're kissing her neck you're you know stroking her whatever you're playing with her breasts you're doing all of these things you're making your way down you're starting nice and sweet and slow all right the next one is you make sure that you kiss her all over you're kissing again her neck her breast her stomach her thighs you're kissing you're caressing you're licking you're doing all the things that's going to send <sighs> off <laughs> bells ringing in her head in anticipation for you to jump into the main course now when you finally get there i know a lot of you feel like oh you just need to lick it y'all be like mm, mm, mm. no <laughs> while licking is all good and fun i want you to focus on sucking sucking the clitoris right sucking on her lips right if you're going to lick lick within the folds right like right within there <laughs> and from there i want you to suck on her clitoris this is what's going to drive her crazy this is one of the things that i prefer to do when i'm going down on a girl i like to suck more than lick right if you are going to lick which again you should lick the <laughs> lick down the middle right right lick up her juices lick everything else but when it comes to the clitoris i want you to suck so less licking and more sucking all right all right 
The next thing I want to point out is that you should use your hands. Do not be afraid to finger your girl while you're going down there. Whether it's one, two, three, you can do a combination of this using your thumb to rub on her clit. That's a whole other rim because then you're, that's a whole other thing, girl. But <laughs> do not be afraid to use your hands. Make sure that you are gripping her thighs. Make sure you're gripping her breasts. Make sure if you can reach one hand up to her neck and squeeze ever so gently that send her over the edge okay okay Ooh. all right there are some girls who are into anal if your girl is into that don't be afraid to explore with your thumb the back region all right so while you're down there sucking and licking and all that fun stuff in the front in the back is where you're going to take your thumb take your hands grab her ass and kind of like spread it but not too hard though right which is going to lead you into my next step you want to make sure that it's super super sloppy right get it as messy like bury your whole face inside of her like you want dive in okay guess it's as sloppy as possible it's every like the, her juices your saliva everything is just dripping down and like i said now you're spreading her ass cheeks but not too far apart because then you don't want to hurt her but spread it far enough so that when the juices run down it runs down to her ass using your thumb you're massaging right there and then you start licking and you lick down and then you lick back up again back to the clitoris and then you start to suck again okay make it as messy as possible listen to her body follow what her body is doing okay if she's telling you that you're not going if she's telling you yeah you're not going hard enough suck some more she wants more okay if she's telling you she's pushing your head away it's very much possible that you're sucking too hard do not use any teeth do not bite this girl please that's the last thing you want to do if you're going to or when you're going to because you are supposed to finger your girl while you're eating her make sure that your nails are trimmed make sure that they are files make sure you have no sharp edges the last thing you want is for your girl to start bleeding <sighs> story time <laughs> the first time i gave a girl head was on my 21st birthday i think right i had nails they were short just like this but they were sharp and when i fingered her she bled a little bit so she had to run to the bathroom and it oh my gosh I'm so sorry to that girl but <laughs> you have to make sure that your nails are trimmed and filed and not sharp in the least bit especially if she's not wet enough if your girl is not getting like super duper wet it's going to be easier for you to cut her or for her to bleed or whatever the case is all right so that's a that okay <laughs> where was I going with this I lost my train I thought just now okay so again while we're down there making it nice and wet and sloppy you want to um <laughs> hey Farah, how are you babes and then oh this this live is brought to you in part by Farrah Charles because at her event we were t hey boo booty it's good babes at her event we um she mentioned that it's is it it's possible to give girls bad head or whatever the case is or something like something to that or it's not easy to give a girl head and I'm like it actually is the main thing is that you listen to your girl listen to her body and <laughs> listen to your girl listen to her body and um <laughs> go from there the the cues that she's giving you will let you know if you're doing it right but again i will say where's my notes um start slow 
you know you want to romanticize the whole thing um less licking more sucking so if you're more of a licker down there um, I would suggest you switch that up and start sucking especially on her clitoris that's where it's going to drive her up a wall and if she's I hate everybody hates bad head babe <laughs> and if she's pushing you away it's quite possible that you are sucking too hard like entirely too hard so just rein it back in do not use any teeth like at all do not bite do not nibble do not munch like d just just don't don't do that all right kiss her all over that's kissing her thighs kissing her stomach kissing everything right use your hands make sure that if you are deciding to finger your girl or play with her ass while you're eating her oats if you're choosing to massage her breasts or if you can like i said reach up and ever so gently squeeze her throat if that's something that you can achieve make sure that your nails are cut make sure your nails are filed and trimmed and clean okay no dirty fingernail please because that's just bacterial vaginosis waiting to happen all right all right and then the last one was make it messy make it like extra super sloppy like she's supposed to be dripping wet your moat's supposed to like uh you feel me and yeah what was that sucking licking no teeth <laughs> yes take notes <laughs> we want you to suck more lick less no teeth at all use your hands do not be afraid to get in there okay yes all of that do we have any questions on the request line do we have anybody who wants to say anything let me wave to the people while we're here any questions so far babuti when you coming over we need to link up we need a girl's night <laughs> i think i told everybody hi all right i rather suck in but you gotta know how that is a fact and that's why i say it's very important for you to listen to your girl and listen to her body because if you're sucking too hard it's definitely going to be i'm off wednesday all right we'll talk we'll talk later um <laughs> what was i saying if you're sucking too hard it's definitely going to be an issue she's definitely going to start pushing you away she's not going to be enjoying it and then it's just going to turn into one of her experiences that she talks to in a very negative way with her girlfriends I contacted <gasps> yes Chantel oh my gosh eye contact is very important not just for when you're sucking dick which again Lori this is not what this conversation is about it's about eating a girl else eye contact is important when you're down there right and i'm looking at you and seeing what you're doing like eye contact is very very important especially if you're enjoying doing it if it's not something that you enjoy to do that makes sense if it's not something that you enjoy doing she's going to know she's going to tell it's going to be very very off and if it is something you enjoy doing but you don't know how to do it properly it's still going to be annoying and she is going to be able to tell that like you really don't know what you're doing all right i have a question here um they say every woman is capable of squirting is there a secret to making a woman squirt good question now with this one it is quite possible for every woman to squirt but you have to remember that squirting is just another form of having an orgasm right so squirting creaming whatever other <laughs> way you secrete or excrete or whatever your bodily fluids while you're orgasming it's all under that umbrella so trying to make someone squirt is is always a hit or miss what i will say for me 
personally, if I do want to squirt, you have to, after you've already had that initial cream, that initial orgasm, that initial, that initial come, you just keep going. Especially if your person likes clitoral stimulation. For me, it's all about the clitoral st stimulation. So if I have a rose or a vibrator or whatever on my clit, it's going to happen. But if it's just strictly penetration with no clitoral stimulation, it's a lot harder for the squirting to happen. Another way is, again, if your girl is interested in anal and use a butt plug, pop in a butt plug, clitoral stimulation, if she's into that while you're penetrating her, it's a highly likely chance for her to squirt if her body, or she relaxes enough for her body to do that. All right. Now, a lot of people believe that squirting is pee or peeing is squirting. There is some urine, urea, whatever, in squirt, the fluid that comes out when you orgasm. Um, it, the color will depend on how much water she's drinking. So if she's not an avid water drinker, it's going to look like it's pee when it's not. Okay, so how to make her squirt, that's going to definitely depend on her urea. Yeah, it's definitely going to depend on her water intake, how relaxed she is, and the type of stimulation she prefers during sex. All right, any more questions? What are you guys drinking? Mm. Oh my gosh. All right, it's getting hot in the lights. Hello, Toya. Warm babes, how are you? Hi, hello. Let me wave to the people while I'm here. Whew. Girls drink lots of water. Yes, girls should definitely drink a lot of water and eat their fruits, as well as the men. Because the same way we said we don't like how cum tastes, it's very possible for you to taste disgusting and the last thing you want is to taste <laughs> disgusting okay okay what i like to do like back in the day back in my single days when i was like getting gal right <laughs> i would do this thing where i would like play with her and then let her lick my fingers and if she didn't lick it then i wouldn't give her a head because if you don't like how you taste, then why you think I would like how you taste? And I know that sounds like crazy, but it makes sense, right? Make enough, enough, enough sense. Drink enough pineapple juice, yes, that will help to make you taste sweeter. You know, all the sugars that's in there. Hello, Pieces Boy 876 how are you? Hi, hi, how are you doing? <clears throat> That's smart, not crazy at all. You see? You see what I mean? I know I had people on my side. Yeah. Any more questions? The raw fruit, not the bottle one. Definitely the raw fruits. Like anything that's processed or over processed or had to go through some type of whatever, then. <laughs> yes, ladies, less Hennessy, more water and fruit. <laughs> I said this in my last live too, like if your diet only consists of um, Hennessy and hot chips and fast food, your cum not going to taste good. And it's the same thing for women. The, the <laughs> I am one to talk, right? Because I am definitely a very big drinker. So I have to make sure that I am consuming, drinking enough water to make sure that don't dare so tastes like just water. All right, all right, and that that's going to help with the smell again. If you don't smell good, he's not going to want, she's not going to want to give you head and all of that stuff. Yes. Any more questions? Any more thoughts? I'm here until I'm here till what time? I don't even know. I'm here. Talk to me. Again, I'm drinking this rosé. The Cali Rosé. It's very, very, very yummy. I'm gonna pour myself a little bit more. Is there anything like 
have you guys ever had like a like a crazy situation while receiving head like in and i'm talking to the girls here <laughs> like guys you got you had your time last week we're talking to the girls right now has there ever been a situation where your partner was down there or somebody was down there giving you head and it was just like so insane like it, it, it talk to me athena muse y'all laugh i'm very serious has anything crazy ever happened during conilingus for you no god love no what no god love me he know i get shame quick <laughs> What does that mean? Uh, that means you've given, you've never had a horrible experience while giving a girl a head? Or are you talking about receiving Miss Charles? Because now I am very, very intrigued. The stories I can tell, tell the stories. We have some more time on the live. I have already spoken. If you guys would like me to go over what I said, I could do that gladly. Receiving, okay, okay. <laughs> After a long session, I forgot I went for some penis. After a long session, I forgot. <laughs> what? I don't understand that one. Type it again and sentence again. Not both ways. Okay, Miss Charles. Clearly, we need to be having more conversations. Like we this, this this Scorpio Virgo dynamic needs to be explored some more because I feel like there's some stories that you have not told me. And you need to be telling me in the live right now. Hi everyone joining the live all right so i'm just gonna go over quickly what i said earlier for all the new people it <laughs> did the live pause pattern at boutique hello darling how are you Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the live. All right, so I got cut off earlier. I wasn't cut off, I cut myself off because I don't know what was happening, right? <laughs> so, took a five minute break and we are back. We are talking about eating out your girl. Okay, okay. If you're just joining and you tips on giving blowjobs we did that last week baby love we did that last week if you go to my profile the live is still there in the reels section if you go to my profile and tap the link in my bio you can go to youtube and you will see the actual like the entirety of the video if you also tap the link in my bio you'll see the spotify link the audio is there if you want to drive while you're listening all right all right so we're over the blowjob conversation and now we're talking about giving your girl head all right all right so let me go over the things that i had mentioned previously in the first video in the first live right the first thing was to start slow you want to start slow and you want to romanticize the, the the situation for her right you want her to feel super comfortable very relaxed very loved on very felt very majestic tiki right right so start slow and enjoy the moment with her okay 
the next one is when you're finally down there is less licking and more sucking yes you are supposed to lick you should lick but you want to lick mainly like within the folds like licking up her juices as she's coming or creaming or whatever the case is lick that lick that area right but when it comes to like the clitoris we want more sucking and less licking for that part all right suck on that but don't suck too hard because then you're just going to hurt her unless she's asking you to and this is why i also say listen to her body listen to her body so that you know what she likes and what she doesn't like because every woman is different this is just a guideline that i'm giving you so less licking more sucking the next one is to kiss her all over this is kissing on her thighs i love a good thigh kiss right like behind her knees her stomach her breasts her neck uh, just kiss everything kiss everywhere just like in the beginning how we started slow after or while we're down there doing what we're doing we're taking a break and we're kissing the next thing is to use your hands so while you're kissing you're using your hands and you're fingering you're doing a combination of either one or two you're mixing it up you're using your thumb to rub her clit you're doing all of these beautiful things while you're kissing her all over now while you're down there while you're eating her out right you have her legs up feet on your shoulders right you are grabbing her ass cheeks spreading them apart but not too far not so much that you hurt her but far enough that she feels it and knows that you are going in right right and this takes me to my next step which is make it messy you want to be in there slobbering you want her juices to be running and dripping all over the place your face is supposed to be soaked okay you want when you're down there for her to be like oh my gosh what is happening to me what is happening to my body you want her to have an outer body experience and that can happen with these tips right <laughs> earlier it was mentioned eye contact yes this one i heavily encourage as well while you're down there and you're holding her legs up ass cheeks spread apart you're eating num 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 face is very deep wet drenched you look up at her she's looking down at you and it's the it just intensifies the entire situation like you mind blown okay the next thing i mentioned was do not use teeth do not bite your girl and then is 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 athena back on the live because athena was telling me a story before there we go athena please athena tell your story again what happened i saw parts of it you got bit the person bit you was it a guy was it a girl <laughs> what happened athena talk to the live i am desperately desperately dying to know please darling tell me because the same way the men don't like the teeth the women don't like the teeth either like it's no <laughs> it's very very delicate down there very very sensitive down there the last thing we want is to be bitten all right so guy in my 17 and experimental years okay so you both were pretty much learning and trying to understand but the fact that he bit you Okay, that's fine. That's fine, Athena. But thank you for listening. Thank you for joining the live. <laughs> but no, the biting is is absolutely insane. Like I don't know where this concept came from. That eating meant literally eating, right? In my last live, I was like, you need to eat the dick or whatever. We have enough sense to know that I don't mean bite the man body head. Like that makes 
no sense unless you are a savage and you just want him to cry and be in pain all the time and i swear i don't know because men feel like of course you're gonna think he did a good job because men feel like they are the end all and the be all when it comes to giving head they feel like they have it done packed they feel like it's the easiest thing in the world like they feel like they can go and be done like babes no they feel like they can wiggle their tongue around a little bit and oh my gosh magic no <laughs> it's a whole a whole process all right and then with giving your girl because i said this in the first part i'm coming out with another book my first book is already out how to give an amazing blowjob the next book is coming out on how to eat your girl properly and that one again like i said in the first book um you want to make sure that you're reserving this type of treatment for the right girl right not saying that you should not give whoever you're with good head that's the last thing i'm saying okay but <laughs> this this extra mile stuff should be reserved for like the girls who deserve it if you're trying to make this girl head over heels all right all right yes miss a guy who liked pain and i said this i said i said this all the time like there are some guys who do enjoy a little bit of teeth who do like to feel that grace who do love the oh my gosh this you know almost happened that near death <laughs> experience but when it comes to giving your girl head the last thing you want to do is bite her again unless she's into that type of like really really rough play then you need to listen to your partner you need to listen to your partner and if they're telling you to go harder if they're telling you to go slower if they're telling you to to suck if they're telling you to lick then that is what you need to do and that's the only way you're gonna have her like water falling all over the place hey lexi unbothered how are you boo but yeah yeah do we have any questions do we have any requests on the line anybody want to say anything while we're here we're here for another i don't know we'll see we're here for a while talk to me what else do we want to say about giving the girl's head. Oh, I got it right. <laughs> what else do we want to say, guys? What else do we want to say? In the last live, have you tried bondage? Of course. <laughs> I feel like we all have. Like, I am 30. Hold on. I'm 33. I'll be 34 this year. I'm 33, right? Yeah, I'm 33. I'll be 34 in August. So I've definitely experimented in my day. I've tried many, many things. Oh my gosh, you know what's fun? Being high and receiving head. That right there, listen to me. If you're not a smoker, get an edible or one of those infused drinks or something. But when you're high and, and you have to know your strain and find what makes you feel good because every strain is not the same like you know some people get paranoid some people get very hyper some people get very chill i'm an indica girl so i like being very very relaxed so when you're nice and high and receiving head oh my gosh listen to me listen to me like out our body experience all right like it nice <laughs> now being drunk and receiving head for me it's eh, i don't know because when you're drunk and you're doing certain things i feel like you're more yes you're more relaxed and you want to do everything but then you don't remember what you did and that's the part i don't like at least when you're high you have some memory <laughs> not okay maybe not some memory but at least when you're high 
in the moment you know that it feels good right and i guess it's the same thing when you're drunk but the 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 things that go through your mind the way your body feels when you're just floating when you're high and receiving head it's like a whole new world all right what, what is athena saying oh my gosh he was 19 he should have known by so oh 19 is very young babes it happened during a small play of bondage i still love it but i don't do head when you say you don't do head as in you don't like receiving head or you don't like giving head because i don't know, <laughs> I don't know about all of that right because somebody like me just like my scorpio sister said in the previous live i'm a pleaser for the most part right i like to get mine but getting isn't my list of must do's i understand that completely because you know when the dick is good the dick is very good and that's all you want but sometimes sometimes you need that mouth hug <laughs> from someone right sometimes especially if they know what they're doing if it's from say if it's somebody who swear up and down like most men swear up and down that they know what they're doing they swear up and down oh my gosh you never had head like this before oh did it did that and it'd be like like sir please get up and come out to my house because what, what are you doing right and that is why i'm here that is why i'm here to help you because babes like if he's not what did, what did lotto say you better put two fingers in it when you lick it yes put two fingers in it and that is the minimum one finger is not gonna do you have to put two fingers and i like this combo right here we use this the ring finger and the middle finger and then you take the thumb work the clit but it's it's nice <laughs> any more questions any more any more questions producer any questions from you no he doesn't care. He doesn't love me anymore. <sighs> but this wine is very nice. Again, it's 19 Crimes by Snoop Dogg, not sponsored. If you'd like to be a sponsor, sponsor me. Sponsor me. I'm looking for a sponsor. Look, I'm, I'm taking sugar daddy applications. <laughs> if you'd like to be a sugar daddy, slide in the DMs. For all the people just joining the live, we are talking about how to give your girl the best head ever, all right? We mentioned using your hands, we mentioned making it messy, we mentioned more sucking and less licking, we mentioned starting slow, or sugar mommy, yes! <laughs> the sugar mommies are welcome. Actually, honestly, when it comes to the whole sugaring thing right i can't see myself exploiting a woman in that way like i don't think i could ever have a sugar mama <laughs> it has to be a sugar daddy like only men i can use like that i don't i don't know like women don't deserve to be treated that way at all okay so no <laughs> sugar daddies only i don't know why it just is like i just feel weird like you it ugh. no sugar daddy me all day but sugar mother mother no unless she's like unless unless she's young if she's young then maybe 
but if it's like an older lady i'm going to feel bad i'm going to feel so bad like me if you see what me rich listen to me i'm definitely going to be a sugar mommy like i could definitely see see myself sugaring some girls right but for me to do that girl i don't know i don't know oh gosh and i'm already in my 30s like no for her to be a sugar mommy she would have to be significantly older right i can't see myself doing that mm -mm. a man though i could take advantage of a man easily easily <laughs> <laughs> but the women get a pass it's it's just what it is i'm a feminist i'm a bit, how old are you athena i'm mina rich yet i'm i'm not sugar mommy status so i can't sugar anybody foodie boo join the live we're talking about giving girls head drop your tips and tricks you're 25 25 25 huh i'm not rich enough for you <laughs> i'm not rich enough for you at all if you were 21 maybe but 25 you have little sense so it's not going to work <laughs> foodie next week we're going to get you dressed up made up we're gonna get you a 40 inch bust down lace front wig 613 with the pink strip highlights in the front and we're going to do a video together all right cheers to that everybody you heard it here first we're going live with foodie boo But yeah, for the people who are just joining the live, who buying it? Don't worry about that part. <laughs> for the people who are just joining the live, this is a continuation from the first live that we did at 5.30. We are talking about... <laughs> we are talking about giving girls head. I mentioned five key points, right? And then we threw in some others along the way. The first one was starting slow and romanticizing the entire moment, making sure that it's nice and sweet and dainty and delicate, just like she is, just like the flower that she is, right? The next thing I mentioned, what was the next thing I mentioned? Hold on. <laughs> Give me one second. I feel like Elle Woods right now. Oh my gosh. I feel like I I feel like the black Elle Woods right now. All right. So the next one I mentioned was less licking and more sucking. Yes, you should definitely lick. Yes, definitely, definitely lick. But when it comes to the clitoris, we want you to suck a little bit more. Less licking on the clit and more sucking on the clit. We want to feel what's happening right but not too hard and if you're going too hard she's going to push you away sucking and licking slowly yes if you're sucking too hard she's going to push you away if she's pulling your face further in you're probably doing something very right and she wants you to do more of it so this is why you need to listen to your girl because every woman is different and stop doing that shake your head shit oh my gosh <laughs> yes oh my goodness because when you do that shake your head thing a lot of the times all we feel is teeth and that was another thing that we mentioned in the live like whew. all right um the next one i mentioned was kiss her all over that's kissing her thighs kissing her stomach kissing her breast if you can reach up with one hand and gently squeeze around her neck that feels really really good so do that if you can if you're physically capable do 
that, right? Um, use your hands. That's massaging certain areas. You have her ass in your hands and you spread her cheeks, but very slightly, not too much so it hurts her. And then the next one was make it messy, make it nice and sloppy and wet. The same way you guys love sloppy head. Sloppy head while going down in the girl is very nice as well. Make it nice and juicy so that when you're going down to her ass or, you know, whatever. Yeah, if you want to stick a two fingers in, again, this is my favorite combination right here. These two fingers, the thumb on the clip, doing all of that. Bum. So there's a lot of chatter in the chat. What's happening here? Yes, shake your head. Has being waxed, shaved, unshaven improved or affected your experience? When receiving, I don't think it improved the experience, but when giving, it definitely did. When going down on a girl, I do prefer her to be completely hair free, right? If she has a little stubble, like, you know, a three o'clock shadow, <laughs> that's fine. That's honestly okay, right? But if you have a big old bush, where I personally need a tail comb to like sort through, it's not going to be the best head in the world, right? You probably still will get head, but it won't be the top notch experience. So when receiving it, you may or may not feel the difference. Me personally, I don't really feel the difference. Like still gonna happen, but I know from the opposite spectrum of giving, it's a lot easier and uh, I feel like it's a lot better. So, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. That's how my, let's see, you're having me best head ever. You know what? Flick the nipples too. I said that. See, see, I be knowing. That's why you need to listen to me. Yes, play with her breast as well while you're giving her head. If you can reach your hand up, and explore other parts of her body, other erogenous zones, is going to make the head feel a way better. When you're waxed, in my opinion, it feels a lot better. It's, I feel like it's going to feel better because he's able or she's able to do a lot more than when there's hair there. For me, I'm gonna enjoy it regardless. Either you can give good a head or you can't. But when I'm giving a girl head, I do personally prefer her to be hair free. And that sounds very weird. But like Athena said, head is not like the highest priority for me. So it, you know, yeah. <laughs> a little fur. <laughs> Brush cut poems. Nothing wrong with a little buzz cut, <laughs> a little fade and <laughs> Oh gosh, this is funny. There are some guys in the live. Do any of the guys want to chime in and say anything about giving girls a head? No fur. <laughs> <laughs> are any of the girls in the chat lasered have you guys tried laser hair removal or you just you know get a regular wax or shave or do you nair Ooh, that's a good one do you nair a little nair burns especially if you have a fat vagina <sighs> girl yes i feel like I should stop drinking right now. I feel like it's going to my head and it's making my head hurt. So, <laughs> and if you're wondering what I'm drinking, it's the 19 Crimes Cali Rosé. It's actually very, very yummy. Especially for what I paid for it. I think I paid like $15 for it. It's actually very, very, very yummy. So yeah. <laughs> and we mentioned being high while receiving head feels absolutely freaking amazing right but being drunk and receiving i feel like you get a lot messier like you want to do a lot more like you want to be up and you know flipping and tricking and dipping and doing all type of things and you're not actually in the moment feeling what you should be feeling but when you're high it's like 
like outer body outer worldly experience i just some of you yeah all right it's now 6 30. i feel like we should cut right here i feel like this should be the end of it thank you guys used nair and her lips got sw swollen yeah you have to be very careful with down there like very 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 careful but my don't talk now for the night <laughs> it's 6 30 at night time okay um but thank you guys so 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 much for tuning in to both lives people who were here from before who came on a second time or who missed the first part and came on for the second part thank you guys so much i love you guys so much until next week peace sign and kissy face bye